I think there's a lot of you know competition going on, so uh, it'll be difficult, um, but something that you can't really shy away from. You got to embrace it and you got to attack it head on. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, go out there, give it your best, and, and uh, that's someone else's decision to make. What, what do you feel like you offer this team? What do you feel like you can bring that, that will make you a valuable piece? I think I can play anywhere. I think I can uh, contribute in a lineup. I think I can bring, you know, different tool set. Um, you know, how I go about my bats is probably a little different than some other people. So I think that's um, something that, you know, bodes in my favor. And I think that getting on base and setting up those big hitters behind me uh, can go a long way. What are some things you're working on this offseason? Uh, just being able to play everywhere. Um, you know, there's... Not a lot of holes in the lineup, and uh, I just want to be able to help out whenever my name's called. And uh, whether that's you know playing first base, whether it's playing second base, whether it's playing outfield, wherever, I uh, just want to be able to do that. Have you been working at a lot at first in the off season? Uh, I've been working everywhere, um, first base for sure. Um, I know that's an area where they like the idea of having a left-handed option, so um, want to be able to show that I can do that. And, but at the end of the day, I'll, I'll play anywhere. How natural do you feel about position now? Um, you know, I've been working on it, and it's something that the more I take reps over there, the better it gets, uh, or the more comfortable I get. Um, I don't think until I really play a game over there, I'll truly feel like the most comfortable. But, um, you know, that's what spring training's for. I think I'll get some opportunities to, to showcase that and um, showcase other talents and, and, you know, try to make my case. How mentally have you been preparing for the new, the new infield rules? I haven't thought about them at all. You know, my game's always been, you know, center of the field uh, when I'm in the box and uh, when I'm playing defense, uh, wherever the coaches line me up. So it uh, doesn't really change how I go about my business. I'm going to, you know, try to put the ball in play and, and do whatever I can on defense to, to help the team win. How, how cool is it to see the excitement surrounding this team and just all these fans out here and just be, be part of these belts? This is incredible. Yeah, I mean, like, I've never been a part of something like this, uh, but the, the energy, the uh, excitement uh, is through the roof, and it's something really exciting and uh, something that I want to be a part of. And I know that all the other guys that are here, you know, they haven't seen this before either, and they might have been to something like this, and uh, the energy is unmatched. So it's really cool. Uh, happy to be a part of it. Very grateful to be a part of it, and uh, just excited for us to come. Was the decision to, to practice first this offseason something that the O's kind of wanted to do, or was that self? You know, was that something that you did yourself? Um, I think it's a little bit of both. I, I know towards the uh, and, you know towards the end of the part of the season, uh, there are some times where they had me working over there um, uh, just to be an option, and it's something that you know. No one really has to tell me. Like, I want to be able to show that I can do that. And I want to be able, like, the coaching staff to, to know, um, to, to be confident when, if they had to send me out there, um, you know, day one of spring training even. So something I took upon myself, but also something that, you know, they kind of showed me towards the end of the year that might might have to be uh, an option. Part of the reason there is so much competition in camp is the young guys have started to arrive, yourself included. What's it like to see the, the wave of talent that's really pushing towards the major leagues right now? Oh, it's so exciting. Um, not only just to, you know, be around those guys, uh, you know what's behind you, you know what's, you know, where at your level, um, but it's just so exciting because ultimately you want to be a part of a winning culture, a winning team, and uh, I think there's a lot of guys that provide that, and uh, that's a really exciting part because you know that injuries happen, um, you know, stuff like that is, it happens in a season, so uh, people have to step up, and um, I think that just knowing that's behind you and that's going to keep propelling those guys that are up and keep you know pushing the guys that are behind. So, you brought in Adam Frazier and does a lot of the similar stuff that you do. He's made a great career out of it. Do you feel like you could learn something from what Adam Frazier's doing? Absolutely, do? absolutely. I mean, he's shown that he's capable of you know producing at, at the major league level for for a good chunk of time. And um, you know, like you said, a lot of the skill set is the same. And uh, I want to be able to, you know, look back and, and, and see a career like he's had and, and maybe even more and, and, and just go from there and, you know, pick his brain and, and find out what's worked for him, what hasn't, and uh, try, you know, try to better myself and hopefully it betters him in the process.